Dear students, hemorrhage is a very common complication of tonsillectomy. So what are the three types of bleeding that we see during a tonsillectomy and after a tonsillectomy? One is the primary hemorrhage. So what is primary hemorrhage? It occurs during the procedure of tonsillectomy. That is because of vein injury. So when we talk about vein, it is the paratonsillar vein. The second most common cause of primary hemorrhage is arterial bleeding. That is any of the arterial vasculature which is supplying the tonsil. If it bleeds, it can produce a primary hemorrhage. So what do you do in a primary hemorrhage? You will ligate the bleeder or you will cauterize the bleeder. The second important type of hemorrhage that we see is a reactionary hemorrhage. So what is a reactionary hemorrhage? It usually occurs in the post-operative ward that is within 12 to 24 hours following a tonsillectomy. There are multiple reasons for reactionary hemorrhage. One of them is a clot sitting in the fossa which does not allow the muscles to contract. The second important reason is there is slippage of ligatures. The third important reason is there is blood pressure variation following a procedure. So they tend to bleed. So what do you do in cases of a reactionary hemorrhage? We need to ligate the bleeder. So before that we have to secure the airway, shift the patient to the operative room and either ligate or cauterize the bleeder. The third important type of hemorrhage is a secondary hemorrhage which usually occurs 5 to 10 days following the procedure. This is because of infection and how do you treat the infection? You give IV antibiotics. If it continues to bleed despite IV antibiotics, we need to take the patient to the operative room and suture pillar to pillar after achieving hemostasis.